What's going on, YouTube? In today's video, I will be analyzing the top five selections from the past three drafts based on how the players have played throughout their career so far. Let's start off with the 2017 draft, including players such as Lonzo Ball, Jason Tatum, and De'Aaron Fox. The first overall pick in the 2017 NBA draft was Markel Fultz from Washington University. For Markel Fultz's grade, I'm going to give him a B. The reason being that I'm giving him this grade is because he was the number one overall pick in the draft, expected to be um, a superstar player, or just at least an all-star caliber player, who so far in his career has not played very well, uh, has been injured a lot, and he got traded to the Magic uh, last season, so he just hasn't really been playing as well as a number one overall pick should. Next up with the second overall pick, we have Lonzo Ball, who was originally selected by the Lakers, but is now on the Pelicans. For Lonzo Ball's grade, I'm going to give him an A-. I am giving him this grade because I believe he is more of a role player, but for the second overall pick, I don't think he should have gone that high. So I'm giving him this grade because I believe he's a decent player who can make a difference on the court, but not a huge difference to be an all-star player and the face of a franchise. Next, with the third overall pick, we have Jason Tatum, who was selected by the Boston Celtics. For Jason Tatum's grade, I'm going to give him an A+. I am giving this grade for Tatum because I believe the Celtics did a really good job of scouting him and knowing that he was going to be this good of a player. He's shown that he has a lot of potential. This was his uh, first All-Star appearance this year in his third season. And I believe that he can be the face of the Celtics franchise in the next 10 to 15 years. Next up, we have Josh Jackson, who was picked by the Suns with the fourth overall pick in the 2017 draft, but now currently plays with the Memphis Grizzlies. I'm going to give this pick a C+. The reason why I'm giving this pick such a poor grade is because Josh Jackson hasn't played particularly well throughout his three years in the NBA so far. He only played 18 games this season with the Grizzlies and averaged around 10 points per game. There were much better players available at the time like De'Aaron Fox, Donovan Mitchell, and Kyle Kuzma. Next up we have De'Aaron Fox who was taken with the 5th overall pick by the Sacramento Kings. I'm going to give this pick an A because De'Aaron Fox has played very well throughout his 3 years averaging 20 points this year compared to his 11 and a half from the 2017-18 season. He has shown that he can be the Kings point guard for the next 10 plus years. He is also a great playmaker averaging 6.8 assists per game this season. Next up we have the 2018 NBA draft. DeAndre Ayton was taken with the first overall pick last year in the 2018 NBA draft by the Phoenix Suns. I am going to give this pick an A. The reason why I'm giving this pick an A is because I believe that DeAndre Ayton is a decent player, but they could have picked players like Luka Doncic or Trey Young that have shown that they are amazing players and can both be superstar players in the league. Although the Suns did not pick Doncic or Young, they still picked DeAndre Ayton, who has shown that he's a very good player, averaging 19 points per game and 8 rebounds. If Ayton can manage to stay healthy, then he will be a great offensive and defensive threat in the NBA. Next, we have Marvin Bagley, who was taken with the second overall pick from the Sacramento Kings last year. I am going to give this pick a B. DeAndre Ayton and Marvin Bagley are very similar players because they are both great big men who can be very good players as long as they stay healthy. This year, Bagley averaged 14 points, 7.5 rebounds, and 1 block per game. He only played 13 games this year, but could have made a much bigger difference if he was healthy. Again, this is another grade that I gave low because I believe that they could have picked a player like Trey Young or Luka Doncic, but in this case I would probably say Luka Doncic because they already have De'Aaron Fox as their point guard, so Luka Doncic would probably fit in the best with this team. With the third overall pick, we have Luka Doncic who was taken by the Atlanta Hawks but was traded to the Dallas Mavericks on draft night. I am going to give this pick an A+. Luka Doncic has shown how great of a player he can be, being selected as an all-star starter in only his second year in the league. This year, he's averaging almost 29 points per game, 
8.7 assists, and 9.3 rebounds. Along with Kristaps Porzingis, Doncic has shown that the Mavericks can be a championship contending team in the next few years. Next, with the fourth overall pick, we have Jaron Jackson Jr. who was taken with the fourth overall pick by the Grizzlies. I'm going to give this pick an A-. Although Jaron Jackson Jr. has shown he's a franchise player, the Grizzlies could have picked Trey Young and then picked another player besides John Morant this year. Jackson is still a very good player, and now playing with John Morant this year, they can possibly win a championship in the next 5-10 to 10 years if they can land a big free agent. Last, we have Trey Young, who was taken with the fifth overall pick by the Mavericks, but was traded on draft night to the Hawks. I am going to give this pick an A+. Although the Hawks did trade Luka Doncic, they got Trey Young back, who is just as good of a player, averaging almost 30 points in the league, which is one of the top points per game averages in the league, and one of the top assists per game averages in the league with 9.3. Last, we have the 2019 NBA Draft. First, we have Zion Williamson, who was taken with the first overall pick by the New Orleans Pelicans. I am giving this pick an A. This was a great pick by the Pelicans, but Zion Williamson has to show that he's able to stay healthy so he can be the best player he can be. Next, with the second overall pick, we have John Moran, who was taken by the Memphis Grizzlies. I am giving this pick an A+, plus because John Moran has played very well in his rookie season and fits in perfectly with the Grizzlies and with teammates Jaron Jackson Jr. and Dylan Brooks. Next, we have RJ Barrett, who was taken with the third overall pick by the New York Knicks. I am giving this pick an A-. minus. Barrett has averaged around 14 points and 5 rebounds this season. He has shown that he has great potential to be a possible all-star in the next 5 to 10 years. Next, with the fourth overall pick, we have DeAndre Hunter, who was selected by the Atlanta Hawks. I'm going to give this pick an A-. DeAndre Hunter isn't one of the top three players in the draft, but he was one of the better players available at the time when the Hawks had the fourth overall pick. Hunter averaged around 12.3 points and 4.5 rebounds in his rookie season but he doesn't need to average a ton of points because he's more of a role player alongside Trey Young and John Collins. Last, we have Darius Garland, who was selected by the Cleveland Cavaliers with the fifth overall pick. I'm going to give this pick a B plus because I believe that the Cavs could have gotten a small forward like Tyler Hero or Sekou Dumboya, and they ended up getting Andre Drummond at the trade deadline towards the end of the season. Um, and they already had Kevin Love, so I think they kind of needed someone at the forward position to balance their team out so they have a balanced team in the future. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, comment down below what you would grade these picks as. And turn on notifications to find out when new videos like this come out. And hit the subscribe button to um, see more content of basketball videos and sports videos in general so thank you for watching again and i'll see you next time